Welcome back and happy Friday. It's me, Mrs. Schoonerman, and I'm ready to do some writing with my wonderful kindergarten writers today. Yesterday, we kept on moving with our informational writing where we taught our readers facts and we labeled the different parts of a giraffe. Yeah, so we, we learned all about giraffes yesterday and then we took what we learned and we made it into a writing piece. And we're gonna do the same thing today about a different animal. And this animal is known for being really heavy, lives with the giraffes over in Africa and in Asia. They have a really long trunk and it's one of my favorite animal sounds to make. Hope you're ready for this one. They go. <coughs> what animal am I talking about? What are we learning about today? I hope you said elephants, cause you're right. Yes, we're talking about elephants. All right, so we are going to, in just a brief moment, we're gonna watch another video and we're going to learn all about the different parts of elephants and some really cool facts about elephants. So let's read our learning target before we do anything else. Today, what we're doing today, I can draw and label a picture of an elephant and then write two facts about them. So that's what, that's what we're doing. That's our target. That's our goal, to draw and label a picture of an elephant and then write two facts about elephants. Now, remember, we're making an informational writing piece. So what's on an informational writing piece? Well, they have a title. And remember, the title just tells the reader what the writing piece will be all about. What are we teaching them about today? We will have a diagram, which just means a picture. We're gonna draw a picture of an elephant, since that's what we're learning about today. We will label our diagram, which means we will label the different parts of our elephant. And we will also write some facts. So facts, remember, are, are things that are true, things that are, we can prove. So we will write sentences or facts that, about things that we can prove about elephants. Different than an opinion. It's not, I like elephants because they're big. Nope, it's not our opinion. We're only writing about facts about elephants. Okay, now, you ready? Get your listening ears ready. You got them ready? Get your looking eyes ready? Because it's time. I'm going to start playing our elephant video. So pay close attention. What parts are there on elephants? What do they have? What makes an elephant an elephant? And what are some cool facts about elephants? Elephants. What is something that all elephants have? That's right. It's a trunk. But what exactly is an elephant's trunk? It's a very long nose. So it's great for smelling just like your nose. But it's many other things for an elephant. It's a trumpet or a snorkel or even a straw for drinking. It's an arm to hug other elephants or a supporting hand in case someone gets stuck in the mud. Some baby elephants even suck their trunks like a thumb. So what else makes elephants special? They're very big. The largest animal on land, in fact. If an elephant stood next to you, it would be roughly three times taller. So they need to eat lots of vegetation every day and drink lots of water, more than 200 liters to be exact. They also have large, thin ears that they use to cool themselves down. And big tusks to help dig for water or used to scrape bark from trees. That's yummy food for an elephant. Elephants are very friendly to each other too. The females and young stick together in a big family herd. In the wild, elephants live for a really long time, but they always have wrinkles. 
Wouldn't it be great to see elephants in the wild? I hope you enjoyed that video all about elephants. I learned some cool things I think you might have too. I didn't know a ton of those different facts about elephants. Well, now my friends, it's time. I want you, it's time for us to go and teach our, our readers through our writing some different facts and the different parts of an elephant. What makes an elephant an elephant? But in order to do writing, what do we need? Yes, go get your pencil. Go get a piece of paper. If you don't have it, pause the video and then come right on back as soon as you have your pencil and your paper. And we will do some writing together to hit today's learning target. All right, my friends, now that you have your paper and your pencil, it's time for us to write together. So the first thing we're going to do together is we are going to write a title for our writing piece. So our title, remember, it's to tell our reader what is our writing all about. And today it is all about elephants. So that will be our title. So all, let's start with that word. We've written this a couple times this week. All, A-L-L, -L, all. Leave a finger space. About, a, b, b, b. A, a, ba, o, u. Last sound in the word, about. T, yes. All about elephants. Eh. I bet you know what the word elephant starts with. Eh, eh, eh. E, elephant. Eh, yes. E. L. L. L, eh. Another E. Okay, now this is a funny digraph that we really didn't talk about this school year at all, but you might already know it. If you saw the Jack Hartman digraph video, you know what I'm talking about. It's a digraph that goes, but it's not the letter F. Remember a digraph is two letters that when you put them together, they make a new sound. Well, when you put the letter P and the letter H next to each other, they make the sound. <laughs> so we're going to make the, that's what we're writing now. So P, H, when those two letters are next to each other, they go just like in the word elephant. So now we have to finish the word. We have elephant. Now we <laughs> need to put an A. Elephant, elephant, t. All about elephant, and I don't like that that's just in one elephant. This is about all the elephants. So let's turn it into a plural by adding an S to the end of the word. Now our title reads all about elephants. Okay, the next thing we need to do, and if you need more time, remember you always can pause the video and start it up again when you're ready to move on. The next thing we're gonna do is draw the diagram, the picture. So what, what did you see? What different parts of an elephant did you see? Well, I remember that the elephant, the thing they talked a lot about in the video was that an elephant has a very long trunk that has a whole lot of different jobs that the trunk can do but we'll get to that in a moment. Okay, then the elephant has huge, thin ears, huge ears. Then, I, when I draw an elephant, I kind of make his trunk turn into a smile, and then I add on to his head like this. I'm gonna give him some eyes, or her some eyes. So we have two eyes. Gotta give it its other ear on the other side. Okay. And elephants are huge, so it needs a really big body. Okay, there's part of its body. There's its front leg. Both front legs. 
and two back legs. He's got some cute little feet down here. And elephants have a little tail back here too. All right. Remember, if you want to add more details later, you go ahead. But right now, finish up your drawing and we're going to move on to the labels. That's what we're going to move on to now. All right, so time for labels. So we are going to label trunk, trunk, trunk. This one is really tricky. You hear some interesting sounds there, but here we go. Trunk. It starts with a T and an R. Tr, trunk. So T, R, tr, uh. What letter says uh? U, umbrella, uh. U, okay. So we need a U. Trunk. You hear a K, but don't, don't worry. First we need to write an N, and then it ends with a K. Trunk. Elephants also have ears, huge ears. Ears. E. Then there's an A. Ear. R. Ears, S. Elephants have, oh goodness, they have all, so, oh, I forgot something. I just realized in the video, it talked about something that they use for digging, and sometimes they use it to pick heavy things up. Elephants have tusks tusks. So I forgot to draw that, but now the tusks are back. There are those horns on, on the elephant's head. And I'm going to put a label on for the tusks. So what do you hear at the beginning of the word tusks? T, 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 uh, u, tusks, tusk, k, and then add an S to the end. It has two tusks. Two tusks. All right. And hmm, they've got four legs. We could add a label for its legs. This one we can just stretch out the word and listen to the letter sounds in it. Legs. 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 L, A, E, G, G, S, S, legs. All right, remember this, you can add more labels when the video is all done. Try to think of three more body parts that you can label on your elephant. Maybe you'll choose to add your uh, label for the tail. Maybe you'll choose to add a label for the body. Maybe you'll choose to add a label for its mouth, for the eyes. It's up to you. But now we're going to move on to writing our fact, our one fact together. And in that video, we heard a whole lot of different facts. And it started off telling us all the different things that elephants use their trunk for. I learned a lot from that video. I learned that elephants use their trunk not only to make their trumpeting sound, the sound that, that I like to make, I also learned that they use their trunk to drink their water or they can use it as a snorkel. They also use, or as a straw, they said they can use their trunk to drink up the water like a straw when they go to drink. They also use their trunk as an arm to hug other elephants. Come on, that is the cutest thing I've ever heard. Then they also use their trunk to help each other out, lend a hand to their friends, lend a trunk to their friends, and they can. Oh, the baby elephants sometimes use their trunk to suck on, like if they're sucking their thumb, but they suck their trunk. How cute. They're the largest animal that lives on land. You would think a giraffe is, but no. Giraffes are taller, but elephants are bigger. So cool. Um, 
elephants are very friendly with each other too and they live together in what's called a herd uh and they need to eat since they're so big they have to eat and drink so much every single day those are just a few of the facts that we learned about elephants but the fact that we're going to write together is elephants can use their trunk to hug so it's a pretty long sentence so get ready here we go elephants as good writers we start our sentence with a capital so capital e Oh, oh, there's that, that pH digraph that says so P H E L E P H elephant no A N T S. Same as up here. Elephants, elephants. Leave a finger space. We're going to start a new word. Use. Use. That starts with a U. Use. S. And since the U says its name, it has a silent E. That's a, a long U vowel sound. So we need to add an E at the end. Elephants. Use. Leave a finger space. Here's a new sight word that Ms. Preller introduced in her uh in her video a couple weeks ago this sight word is there there t h e i r there this is a sight word there elephants use there trunk so we're going to write this word trunk again Leave a finger space. Trunk. T. Tr. R. A. U. Trunk. N. And then it ends in a K. Use their trunk. Leave another finger space. We're going to write two, which is also a sight word. Ooh, there's lots of sight words in this sentence. Elephants use their trunk to. I'll, I'll keep writing right over here, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna take this down. I knew I was gonna run out of room. Okay, use their trunk to give. So leave a finger space, give. G, G I, V, V, and it has a silent E at the end. Use their trunk to give, leave a finger space, this is the last word in our sentence. Hugs. H. Hug. Uh. So there's a U. Hug. G. Hugs. S. And don't forget the period at the end. We add punctuation to the end of our sentence, to the end of our thought, to say that it's all done. All right. You know what time it is. It is time for you, for your extra challenge to hit today's learning target. Remember, I want you to add three more labels, any labels that you want to your picture, to your diagram of your elephant. And to finish hitting our learning target, remember we need two facts today. We wrote one, elephants use their trunk to give hugs. But I want you to come up with another fact. What else could you write about an elephant? And remember all the good things that writers do. And you can use your capitals, use finger spaces. But most of all, just try your best. Mm -hmm. Because you guys are doing such a great job and you should be so proud of yourself. I'm so happy that you came and wrote with me today, and I can't wait to do some more writing with you next week.